In a rare moment for Michigan politics, state lawmakers from both sides of the aisle recently came together to strike a $4.7 billion infrastructure deal. According to Governor Whitmer, the Building Michigan Together plan she signed into law last month paves the way for the biggest infrastructure investment in the state's history. Here in Metro Detroit, residents of St. Clair Shores are hoping the additional $72 million coming to Macomb County will help prevent some of what they've had to endure. I go down there and I get to the top step and I open the door and there's like seven inches of water and I panic. Like I don't, why is this happening? It happened because the late June rain last year overwhelmed pump stations. The excess water had to go somewhere in St. Clair Shores, that destination was Christine Crook's basement. I didn't do anything for that to happen. I had everything in place to prevent this from happening, to have coverage if it did happen, and you know, and then nobody wanted to take responsibility. Not insurance, not the city, she says. And not the first time Macomb County has had water issues. So many, a volunteer committee in St. Clair Shores was formed long ago to address them. There's a lot of needs just because this is a, a large infrastructure area. It's built up. There's a lot of water going into the drains that are contaminated with just, you know, vehicle waste and just a variety of those items. And much of the water and at times sewage ends up in Lake St. Clair. This is the discharging as it's happening at Chapterton. Just a month ago, 7 Action News' Jim Kirstner pressed federal and local leaders after they announced $10 million in funds for water system improvements. These are the discharges, I'm aware. right? As I okay. told you, in, in technical terms, bad. Yeah, really bad. So is what you're announcing today still just a No, -aid? no, I don't think so at all. How, how I mean, if you... I don't understand, I guess. I, I how do, the mic. If you say we should do nothing until we can do all of it at the same time, then we're going to have a whole lot more pictures like that. We asked one of the lead lawmakers for the latest round of funding the same. Is it enough? The amount of federal funding versus the amount that's needed to truly address this issue seems to be far apart. Yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. Look, this uh, is a problem that's been affecting this community and many others for generations. So we can't fix it overnight. But this is a it's the biggest step in the right direction that we've taken in a very long time. For Macomb, the cash, a mix of federal and state funds, will go to projects like improving the Chapitan Station with a replacement pump, Martin drain improvements, and the piece of infrastructure that led to this. Oh, God, it's awful. The Fraser sinkhole. We all remember the failed intercept that occurred uh, a few years ago, and we'll go to continue to, to make sure that that problem is addressed as well. As for Christine, can this funding directly prevent what she experienced? I think so. This, it's going to be a step in the right direction, right? We're not going to end every basement flood this, with this one uh, bill, but we're going to do everything we can to make sure we're addressing it. Christine hopes those charged with ensuring our infrastructure works are looking past tomorrow. If the city and this county and the state are not thinking about the future, you know, we, we're living in a time where climate change is rapidly changing our weather. And if we just fix it up to today's standards, then we're still going to have this problem again. And she also hopes governmental entities will take responsibility when the systems don't work. She was finally able to get help with her basement costs once FEMA added St. Clair Shores to the disaster area. If you want to help with the environmental committee there, we have more information at WXYZ.com. Glenda?